Got a little bit of a different one today. Didn't have to get up as early. Didn't have to drive anywhere. Someone graciously let us use their vacant apartment. So we have this whole apartment to ourselves. We're gonna shoot a coffee video today. And my talent is my beautiful girlfriend and she'll be here shortly. So I'm just gonna get everything set up, make sure the lighting is perfect. And we're just gonna get going and hopefully have a fun day. Okay, so upon setting up, I've realized that I don't have enough coffee to fill up this. And the whole idea with this shot is we're supposed to have all of this coffee on here. So whenever the measuring scoop scoops up the coffee beans, I can kind of drag my lens across the surface of the beans. But the only problem is I have one bag of coffee and the rest is in here. So it looks like I'm gonna be going to the store to get more coffee. I think I'm gonna need like four or five more bags just to fill this thing up. So a little bit of a delay, but I mean, that's filmmaking. You realize that you need stuff last minute anyway. So going to the store. All right, we got everything set up. We got two apertures going. I got my black magic here. I'm going handheld today. Typically don't do that. Usually I'm on a tripod, but these moves are slightly more advanced and there's more movement going on. So I have to go handheld today. So hopefully that works out. Tracking focus is gonna be a little bit difficult, but we'll see how it goes. I think everything's gonna look good. So let's just get to it. This needs to be more flat to me because I'm like kind of angled. It's hitting like this. I want to hit flat. And then that needs to be flat. It's, it's not going to be less straight on. Okay. Unless if I can be straight on, I guess it helps you position it where it gets flat to this stuff. Like the wall. You do it that way. All right, so we just took a little lunch break and we're slightly behind schedule, but that's filmmaking. So I guess technically we're on schedule. So next we have a drawer opening shot where Chelsea reaches in and grabs out a measuring spoon. So I've got this ladder here so I can be on top looking down and she's just gonna open this drawer, reach in, grab the measuring spoon and then shut it. And the whole idea, is the camera supposed to follow it open and shut. And then when it shuts, it could be, it could move into a transition into another shot or something like that. Any sort of camera movement is good. So we'll see how that goes. I have no idea. I'm not a robot, so it's gonna be really hard to get this motion correct. Hello and welcome to Everett's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to fill this glass dish full of coffee beans. These coffee beans. Oh wow, I bought way too many. <laughs> oh man, it's almost... All right, so one bag almost filled this up, so I probably need to get five, but that's okay. I think three would have been fine instead of five. <laughs> My nostrils are gonna be just smell like coffee for the end of time now. All I smell is coffee. I smelled it all morning, which is okay. And 
And now we'll just see what this shot's gonna look like. I think I'm gonna have to put the 85 millimeter on and maybe do the, the 1080 punch in for HD so it's really close. So it looks like a probe lens. I don't know if I'm gonna get the probe lens effect. That's kind of what I'm going for. I'm trying to do it without a probe lens. So we'll do some in-camera trickery and see if we can figure it out. I'm gonna go like, like have your part and then just kind of start. Okay. Okay. So let's start. What's the goal here? Ooh, I think that was probably good. Okay. Yeah. You know what's really time consuming? Like, really time consuming? Waiting for water to boil. I think it's almost there. Check back later. And we are done. It is now dark outside. We started around 11 o'clock and it's 6.30 now, so we had a full day of work. Uh, I think we got some good shots. All we have to do now is clean up and go home and have some dinner.